almost half of Jammu and Kashmir is occupied by Pakistan, which the country calls Azad Kashmir. The Azad means free. The residents of so-called Azad Kashmir are anything but. No person in this so-called free Kashmir can assume office or be appointed to a government job unless he takes out of Jammu and Kashmir's accession to Pakistan. In addition to disregarding international obligations to withdraw its forces from Jammu and Kashmir as per UN resolutions, Pakistan is culpable of human rights violations, including forced disappearances, torture, political repression, and suppression of freedom of speech in this part of Jammu and Kashmir. According to Pakistan's own Human Rights Commission, extensive operations targeting the press and pro-independence groups are carried out by the ISI, Pakistan's infamous spy agency. Cases of arbitrary arrests by the ISI, in which people have been tortured to death, are widespread. The cold-blooded murder of the tallest nationalist leader, Arif Shahid, in 2013, committed by the ISI, is a reasoned reminder of what happens to those who do not support Jammu and Kashmir's accession to Pakistan. Mr. President, I urge you to pay urgent attention to the human rights violations in this part of Jammu and Kashmir. Azad Kashmir is not a local authority, as incorrectly mentioned in the UN resolutions of 1948. In reality, it is a local colony of the state of Pakistan, which rules it with impunity through its intelligence agency.